Good afternoon. Thanks for tuning in to Dear Cypher Sue. Today's topic is the fine line between loving your partner and the fear of being alone. Now this is a really good question to ask yourself if you're having any doubts in a new relationship. If you're questioning the fact that you're at that age in your life where you're ready to be in a committed relationship, you're ready for children, whatever the scenario is, if you're having any doubt at all because you're afraid of being alone, you have to rethink this because being in a relationship is not going to change those fears. It's also going to make you feel like you're in a one-sided partnership because you're not giving to them maybe what they're giving to you. So you're sitting there saying to yourself, well, I'm not sure if I'm just settling in this relationship or I'm more afraid of being alone. So I want to be with somebody. I'm ready for that. This is something that a lot of people do and regret it later because they're not paying attention to their instincts. If you listen to your gut on a regular basis, you will seldom go in the wrong direction. If you're not content with who you are, you haven't done enough, a lot of self help or, or just do, delved into who you are as a person, you're going to have certain fears in life. It doesn't mean that someone's going to come in and take those away for you. And the one thing that I'd like to stress here is, being in a relationship with somebody that maybe you're not really in love with, but you're sort of okay with, it's more like a, a friendship, a platonic friendship, you're shortchanging yourself and you're shortchanging your partner because they're not getting really what they want because you're not being real. And this is part of the problem with people who go from one relationship to the next because they're afraid of being alone. You have to be okay with who you are when you stand alone. That way, when you go into a relationship and you have feelings for them, you know they're real because you're already content with who you are by yourself. So how do you know if you're really truly in love with somebody or you've just had this habit and this repetitive pattern going on where you do go from one relationship to the next, not really knowing what you feel? Well, the one thing is if you communicate really well with somebody, you want to share everything with them. You want to be with them. You want to see them. You think about them when you're not with them. You're not afraid to tell them your insecurities and your fears. This is something that I think a lot of people don't understand that they actually can do this with somebody. They think that if they tell the, the person that they're dating, I'm a little bit afraid of being alone and I have got myself into situations over the years and I'm trying to get past that. Just let them know. That way at least they know you're working on it. You're trying to be a better person. You're trying to find out who you are. Obviously you don't want to share every sort of detail on the first couple of dates, but if you get to a point with somebody that you're seeing and you're starting to enjoy your time with them, you can start to be open and honest. If they are open and honest back with you, then you've got a really good start to something that could lead to a committed partnership. But if you kind of keep everything on the back burner and don't work on what's going on here, then you're going to have a repetitive pattern that brings you more and more loneliness because you're not evolving. You know you're with the right person when you don't have to put on a facade. You don't have to pretend that you're somebody else. You're transparent. You let them see the vulnerable side of you, but you also let them see the strong side of you. Because it's not all doom and gloom because you have a fear of being alone. You just haven't met the right person and you haven't worked enough on yourself to find out how to improve this. There's nothing wrong with that. We all evolve at different times and stages in our lives. So don't beat yourself up about that. It's always good to have outside interests, regardless of whether you're in a relationship for a short time, a long time, or you've been married for 20 years. This keeps a couple really strong, believe it or not, 
because they don't feel that they're sitting there having to give everything to their partner. They have their individual side that's still there. They're, they don't feel that they can't go out and do things that they're interested in. They don't feel that they have to be with you 24 seven and vice versa. That is what makes a great, healthy relationship because you're together as a team, but you're okay when you're not in that team as well. So if you're in a place right now where you're trying to figure out, okay, am I in love with this person? Is this something that can build if you're in a new relationship? Do you miss them when you're not with them? Do you just miss being with someone in the room or do you actually miss who they are? Do they bring joy to your world? Do they bring laughter? Do they bring love? Do they bring camaraderie? There has to be the whole bells and whistles of what goes into a full-fledged relationship, not just a platonic person to hang out with. Because that over time will also take a toll because it will start to fizzle out when you don't have the romantic side. But it's up to us to change that. It's up to us to nurture the relationship and make it better. Not just settle, not just sit there and say, okay, well, I guess I'm in the friend zone now. I'll just stay here. This is where it's really difficult if you start in the friend zone because it's harder to become romantic and intimate with somebody as the years go by. It's better when it starts out that way and you have the full connection with somebody. That's when you know you're in a good place. If this is becoming a repetitive pattern for you, where you're going into more friend zone relationships continually, it's really time to sort of figure out what's going on. What has put you in this place? What has made you guarded? What is taking your emotions to be in an unavailable level? It always pays to go and see somebody and talk about it with a therapist or counselor, somebody that can draw some light as to what's happening here because you've learned how to sort of squash your feelings down and just sort of take the, the surface level of, of situations. And that's really shortchanging yourself. Sometimes it's not that you've always been this person, it's sort of come into your life because of maybe a past breakup or a hurtful situation that has left you feeling a little bit not trusting like you just don't trust love anymore you don't trust being in a partnership anymore if you continue to ignore this unease this fear of being alone it's going to continue to happen for you so please take charge of it figure out how you can change this up because it's really not always better being with somebody just to be with somebody you can be more lonely in a relationship that isn't serving you than you are when you're single and going out with your friends and traveling and doing all those things. So really think about that. Being in any relationship during a lifetime is an emotional journey. It's something that we all learn from. Sometimes we get stuck. Sometimes we repeat continual patterns. Sometimes we just want to be by ourselves. And sometimes we don't want to be alone. They're all places that need to be worked on because it's not something that you want to stay in that area for a long period of time because you're not getting your needs met. You're not fulfilling the dream that you've probably had in your lifetime of having a loving relationship. As I say in many of my videos, you're in charge of who you attract towards you. So work on your fears so you can bring the right love into your life. Thank you so much for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue today. Please subscribe, please click like, and leave any of your comments under the video here. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.